This is a short video review of the Hobby King HK10 power analyzer. I've uh, received this today, it's something I was interested in getting so that I could check the status of my battery packs when I'm out and about quickly and easily. And um, also there's a couple of times I've been interested to see how many amps a particular rig is pulling. And this should tell me. Uh, the only modification I've made is I've actually fitted Dean's connectors to it because it actually comes pre-fitted with these um, XT60 connectors from Hobby King which they seem to put on a lot of their kit at the moment. Um, all my kit is Dean's currently so I've um, obviously fitted Dean's connectors. The actual unit itself is um, uh, nice and sturdy. It's a metal box it only has um, three buttons on the front. It has a couple of connectors for the power in and power out when you're doing the watt bits and pieces. And at the end it has a balance connector that you plug the battery into to check things. It does three things. One, acts as a watt meter and we'll see what that looks like. I'm not going to run it on a rig but I'll show you the, the statistics that it's going to show. It also acts as a battery checker so that you can see how much capacity is in that battery. And finally, it acts as a battery balancer, using the power from the battery, putting power from the lot cells with more charge into the cells with a lower charge, so that they all become equal. So, it hasn't got a battery itself, so you have to power it from the pack that you're plugging in. So to, uh, to power it, you can either plug it the balance connector into this port here and there are six pins so if you're using a four pin um, um, balance tap like this you would put it here and obviously a six pin would go across all six pins the other way you can power it obviously it'll pick up power from the input lead in terms of input it'll handle up to 100 amps up to 60 volts and uh, so that's basically two to six cells and um, up to six cell packs. So let me show you how to quickly check capacity. I'll plug this battery into the balance tap. The system powers on and immediately shows me a menu. And I move around the menu by pressing select. Escape doesn't do anything here because I'm not in any part of the menu. But if I click OK for the watt meter, then you can see that it's showing me how many amps it's pulling how many volts, how many watts, which is amps times volts, and how many milliamp hours has gone through the device. So if I'm uh, running a prop or I want to see how much power is going on, then uh, this is what I would put in between the battery and the ESC, and I could read off the numbers here. This is reasonably heavy little device. It probably isn't something you can slung uh, under a... Um, a model, this is almost certainly something you'd use on the bench. We'll press escape to go back up. Select for LiPo. In the LiPo menu, then you have two options. You have LiPo check and LiPo balance. LiPo check will basically tell you how much power is left in the pack. Now this pack has been flown for just three or four minutes and it still has 83%. It's got about 12.71 volts left in it. So this would be good for probably another five or six minutes of flying comfortably. Okay. Escape to back up again. The next thing I can do is I can select LiPo balance. Click OK. Now what it's actually doing now is pulling power from the cells that have a larger voltage and putting that power into the cells that have a less voltage. So at the end, all of the cells are going to be exactly the same. Now I've run this on another pack, it took about 5-6 minutes to do it and at the end it also then gave me a display of the actual individual cell voltages and it seemed to be uh, pretty good at balancing it. And I did it on a pack that is getting a little bit old and tired and um, one of the cells in particular tends to be a little bit lazy and it did a good job of getting them all back on track. So in practice, not sure how often I'm going to use this in the field, the uh, the one that I'm probably going to use the most is the check just to uh, see how much power is in the battery. So that's the Hobby King HK10 power analyzer. I hope that's useful. If you have any questions let me know.